This is the Bob and Tom Show. Um, <laughs> Turn that down, will you? Yeah. No, Would you watch it. a game show called Are They Dead? And <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, that's a great idea for a show. It's so, like the host goes, uh, Bob Barker, and then the, uh, mm. I think he's still with us. No, he's dead. That kind of thing. No, he's not, though. He's not dead. Is he? That's the game is what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, he just said he was dead in your example. One contestant. I was playing three roles. Oh. So you're playing the idiot? Spend <laughs> one point, yes. <laughs> I know, I like this. And then you do a millionaire style. Like at the beginning, it's kind of easy. Like right, yeah, like, yeah. All right. First up, Sean William Scott. Well, he's got to be 40, so <laughs> he's probably alive. Time now to play dead or not dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Josh, here we go. Yes. Nobel laureate T.D. Lee, dead or alive? <laughs> he is dead. Uh, Pete Sampras. <laughs> <laughs> American tennis player, dead or not? Yeah, that, I have no idea. That'd be a great I game. He's alive, right? Jimmy Carter, that would trick me. I'd forget that. He's Morgan Freeman. Jimmy Carter's alive? Yeah. Diego Maradona, dead or not dead? Well, it depends he on the day died. you're playing, Will. Just died. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just died. That's yeah, I think Pete Sampras is dead. Oh, when did he what? die? Pete Sampras? No, he's not. No, he's not dead. <laughs> Sampras is not dead. Sure he's See? Dead. See? Yeah. I, this is an amazing game. This is a really good idea. And, and Nobel laureate T.D. Lee is 94 years old and alive and well. Oh, really? I thought, uh, I thought T.D. Uh, uh, no. uh, R.I.P. <laughs> Don't they yeah. call him Touchdown Lee? Yeah, no, he actually... They call him he, Mr. Call touchdown. Him he invented the Touchdown. That's why I got the Nobel. He also yeah. invented a dance because it was similar to the twist. It was the <laughs> T.D. Twister. That's a nice piece of work right there. You know, I want to say hi to all our friends who study <laughs> physics <laughs> that are going, what, what are they talking about T.D. Lee? Glenn <laughs> Close, sense. dead or not? She's uh, alive. She's alive. She yeah. died in the new movie. He picked someone who's deceased, for God's sake. Yoko Ono. She's still She's alive. alive. She's damn near 90, isn't she? James Coco. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, that? deceased. Yeah, I mean, yeah, James Coco. James dead, Coco. Yeah. Well, not an actor. Okay. Yeah. Inventor of hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Pete Sampras is dead. He is he not. Is. Stop. Pete Sampras? Um, Tennis ball of the head. He's got to be. No, he's not deceased. Oh, no, he's only 49. I was going right. to say, he's a. <laughs> <laughs> Wade Boggs. Uh, oh, dead or alive? Dead. Oh, yeah. Alive. No, dead. he's alive. Yeah. Alive. Oh. Wade Boggs. <laughs> <laughs> We're terrible at this game. See, people would watch. It's not easy. That's right. No. I mean, yeah, is it a just too we'll, depressing? We'll it oh, it's completely classless and uh, <laughs> and morbid. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah. We'll get, we'll get and, Ken and then Jong at, at, the, at the end, there'd be, be like hit. a double Jeopardy thing, and there'd be a gravestone. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> there also could be a really sad episode. Uh, Betty White, uh, she's alive. Oh yeah, celebration. Woo! Oh wait a second. Wait, Sorry, gotta, you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just got a text. Way to go. You killed Betty White. That's the TikTok round. My goal is to get on Twitter trending today. Pete Sampras. Dies. No, oh. that's what I want on Twitter. A little chick McGee meddling. Oh boy, oh boy. boy. A little chick oh McGee boy. meddling. Yes. I mean, we're gonna miss him, Pete Sampras. He was a good guy. Well, that's right. Hell of a tennis player. That is. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like an April Fool's joke. Never funny. Dead or alive? Right after a very special blind or not. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Orbison. Just a baseball dead ball. And blind and you're right, Pat. Blind Charlie dead. Daniels, blind or not? <laughs> Deaf or not dead? He's dead. He's not blind, but dead. Oh, no. Okay, uh, Christy, what do you have any actual news over oh, there? Oh, uh, sure. We can play the This game? guy's still dead. Researchers have determined the Tyrannosaurus Rex experienced a teenage growth spurt. For the study, researchers analyzed bone samples from 11 different dinosaurs. Lead author Tom Cullen said, quote, most animals have a period every year when they stop growing. Not suggested once a month? To be, <laughs> not once a month, once a year. Tom Cullen, he's in the, uh, he's in the stand. M-O-O-N, that's spelled moon. Tom oh, Cullen. What? <laughs> he's, he's right, but that's yeah. very obscure. What are you talking about? <laughs> Well, it's better than Hennessy. <laughs> it's a uh, actually it's a miniseries coming out the stand. Yeah. What does this have to, really it has to do with Tyrannosaurus? It has nothing to do with Tom Collins. Tom Collins is the doctor who made up this uh, about the dinosaurs author. and things. All this news. He about suggested in times like winter that it shows up in bones as a line like a tree ring where they stop growing. Whatever. These lines show that the T. Rex and its close relatives had a period of fast growth during adolescence that slowed as they reached adulthood, much like us, I guess. Except for their arms. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, a that's, a, that's a bad time not to be able to reach down there, no too. No kidding. Boy, <laughs> boy. Uh, baby arms. All those hormones for nothing. Yeah. 
Oh, oh. wet dreams, T-Rexes. Yeah, a lot of rubbing on trees. <laughs> you, you get bigger and hornier. That's and a sharp can't... palm tree. Oh. What is that? Oh. You guys believe T-Rex existed, huh? Of course we do. <laughs> yeah. They were Why wouldn't the they? And there were humans walking right next to them. We were riding them. I will give you, they might, have, they might have existed, but uh, they've got them together wrong. No, you they can don't. Tell. Yes, they do. They know what they're doing. They don't they know. They have found many, many, many of them. <laughs> Those are the arm bones of uh, some sort of koala. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of koalas together. all glued together. The Somewhere there's a eating. koala with the longest arms you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they, got that, they got that wrong. They're more like gator arms <laughs> on a T-Rex. And they'll call it the long arm koala, like the bighorn sheep. And it's just not... Speaking of dinosaurs, the fossilized skeletons of a pair of dinosaurs locked in what looks like a death match will find a new home. Friends of the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences has acquired the fossil. The skeletons will be gifted to the Raleigh Museum's Vertebra Paleontology Collection. It's believe the two dinosaurs, a Tyrannosaurus rex and a Triceratops horridius, were buried together 67 million years ago. Wow. They were found on a Montana hillside and are still entombed within the sediment that they were found. And once again, they are locked in what looks like a death match. See? They've got intact. See? This yeah. is incredible. Sure they do. <laughs> oh. Montana, you know where that is, Tom? Montana is where the Yellowstone is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the Yellowstone Ranch. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it's dueling dinosaurs? Dueling dinosaurs, exactly. Okay. I they used to have it. dinosaur fights just to see one of them crash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Who dropped the flag? <laughs> so in other words, the fight was a draw. Yeah. Sure. Like if they're both... Yeah, they both... both <laughs> it was a both tie dead. for sure. Okay. You're going to sensibly look at a T-Rex and go, okay, yeah, that's, that's the way that... That animal appears yes, they have, uh, on Earth. Scientists have found multiple at different sites. Yes. Multiple. Uh, think about the weird animals that still versions exist. of this. You ever seen a jellyfish? What ever the hell's that? Ever seen yeah. a platypus? My God. I mean, even ducks are weird if you think about it too much. <laughs> they are weird. <laughs> They're ducks swimming in there. Yeah. They're sneaking around. They got weird penises. Snakes are yeah, weird. Yeah, you ever seen a, wait, a duck what? with a weird penis? <laughs> yeah, you guys haven't heard about this? No. Mm. I'm not even going to talk. Just Google duck penis. Learn no, a little bit. I don't want it. Fun. I want to be on that list. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> duck penis drags in the weeds, don't they? Is that, uh, that true? Yeah. Those whole got a little sudden, the CIA is looking into uh, you. Uh, by the way, Jess is Googling duck penis on her phone. <laughs> okay, let me know. Oh, boy. They're monsters. No, thanks. Ugh. Okay, well, no, you said you had a story about a drunk squirrel. Yeah, a squirrel apparently got drunk on fermented pears outside a Minnesota woman's mm -hmm. home. Good pear wine. Katie Marlox <laughs> told Fox 9. We're on your side. That she found some old pears while cleaning out a refrigerator, decided to put them out on her deck for the squirrels to snack on. Hey, God, when you ever found an old pear? Yeah, I did it. A 70-year-old woman once. <laughs> there we go.